My full name is Gabriel Roman Eyevu. I come from Singapore. I was born there. I was a Singaporean. I went to university in Toronto. That's why I came here. And after which, uh, a few years down the road, I finished my PhD. And I got a doctorate in science education. I see um, the learning that happens here in, in Ontario and in Canada uh, very hands-on, minds-on. And I think that's very important. Too often, we come to a class and we say, can everyone be quiet? I actually like to come to the class and say, can everyone speak? <laughs> and, and, and I believe that the noisier it is, the better it is. My students, as you may have seen, they bring their own laptop. We use our phones and do presentations using iPads. So you see a lot of scientific skills, you see a lot of technological skills, a lot of presentation skills. So what do you think is happening? Look, look at that one, it's beautiful. See that? Ooh. Gorgeous. Is there attraction or repulsion? repulsion. Yeah. So you, so you can imagine. That's right. Gabriel loves um, empowering students with science. I think that's a big thing for him. I know he's so passionate about the SIP project, and rightly so, because it's a project that allows students to really become investigators. 1.8 billion people don't have access to clean drinking water, so it's a prevalent and very relevant issue in our society. I use this algae called chlorella to neutralize the effect of bad bacteria in untreated water samples. It was like the first thing that I had done with like results that were positive and so I was like wow like this is really cool. That's the project I took to the National Science Fair and then that was the project that took me to Australia. Teachers like Dr. Evu give our students the chance to excel and uh, open up doors that normally would not have been opened to them. Like if Rhea had not been involved in SIP, she wouldn't have learned all the skills that she's learned. And most importantly, she would never have gone to Australia. We fly to different parts of the world, we present, we, we interact with other students. Collaboration is the number one feature, I think, of the 21st century learning. Together we've been able to collaborate on a number of projects. So you may think, oh, French and science not too much in common there but what we share is a passion for working with kids and for making good things happen with kids. We come up with new ideas, new teaching strategies, we become innovative, uh, it's all by collaboration. I'll text him going, oh I have a great idea for something we can do using the iPads and we can do a project that combines French and science and maybe ComTech or maybe another area. So it's a back and forth, a bouncing of ideas. I call them collaborative conversations. They happen at lunch, they happen um, over a walk for a cup of coffee down the street. As teachers, we can open doors, as many doors as possible. And we gotta build this character in kids to say, you know, the door is open, it is you who has to walk in. A lot of young people don't have confidence in their abilities because we're always told like one day you'll do this or one day you can achieve this but you know the difference with having a teacher that believes in you is that you realize you can do this right now. I want students to feel that way about education. I think if they can feel an excitement in education they can carry that excitement throughout their life you know to learn and continue to learn as they grow older.